Well, hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energy, here's your reading, focus reading for first half of October 2021. General reading, take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else, because it is a general reading. May not resonate with all of you, so you might want to look at the forecast for your moon rising or your Venus. Now, if it does resonate, if you want me to resonate with your energy, you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below the video. Okay. So we have some foundational cards so that we can get started and then we'll get some, some clarification. All righty then. Let us get started. So, <coughs> excuse me. All right. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to support the channel. I really appreciate you. All right, so we have this beautiful page of fire. And, you know, we're in the Mercury retrograde right now in this first half of October. And this is about freeing yourself up. Freeing yourself up to venture forth, to co-create, you know, this is a time where you're becoming enthusiastic again. Everyone else is releasing. You're, you're actually becoming enthusiastic about what's in front of you. Um, you're finding more, you're taking the time during the retrograde to find your purpose, you know, and that's going to ignite uh, a fire in your belly as you move forward during this, uh, this first couple of weeks of October. So really good card for you as you're, you know, wanting to release what doesn't serve you, but really ideas are flowing here. You know, what's the next thing? And then we have this two of fire and the two of fire is about planning for the future, creative planning, mapping, trusting the unknown. And it's about Spirit inspired ambition. You know, whenever you can't see how your dreams um, will coalesce into into form or, or form into something tangible, you know, you can trust the process of co-creation as you engage spirit in what you're doing. So really this is the time for you to maybe you've done a lot of your release ceremonies of releasing the past hurts, etc. But it's kind of like you're going to be making plans. You're making plans so that you can hit the ground running when everything goes direct. And then you have the Ace of Earth, okay? And the Ace of Earth is about prosperity in its purest form. That's right, money. Concrete results in the physical world, abundance uh, that actually manifest in this reality. And, you know, it's about recognizing that abundance comes in many forms, all right? So abundance is money, but it's also some peace and harmony in your life, you know? And when you align yourself with spirit, you align yourself to abundance and harmony and peace and success. And, you know, there's, I'm saying you know a lot. You, you can generate gold from these resources that you have at your disposal. The essence of prosperity is taking, um, taking note of all the different positives in your life. And if you can find yourself that Calgon moment, that is a form of abundance. So that's fabulous for you. Let's get a little clarification here from the smallest deck in the world. Okay. All right, Spirit, a couple of cards would be great. Thank you. A couple more cards would be good. So let's see what Spirit has to say here. Okay, ooh, ooh, 
Okay. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. So let me grab a little Americano here. Mm. I feel like there is a decision here in the love area, in a love relationship. Um, you might be deciding whether to stay or to leave someone. But, but since it is the retrograde, you may also be deciding that it's time to love yourself more. Okay. You hearing me there? Love yourself more. That's right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the Knight of Wands is a signal that the blocks to obstacles that you've had have been lifted during the retrograde. Maybe you guys are doing some homework as you're making that plan and, and determining what your next steps are. Okay. So blocks to obstacles are lifted. So you're able to move forward in a big way. You know, this, I, what I love about the chariot is that it is about moving forward. It's about travel. So some of you may be traveling during this period. It's about claiming victory, claiming victory after, um, you know, a cycle that was not exactly easy. And you've hit that, you know, sur surmounting that last hurdle. You know, there's, um, there's something to be said about how we grow when we have not an easy time, but a more of a challenge. And you're, you're facing those challenges and you're able to move forward past the challenge. And when you look back and going, look how far I've come, you know, and it's when we move into that earth bee energy, that positive potty territory of appreciation in this case, um, that and letting go of all the woe is me earth a energy the po uh, the negative nancy emotions that we can really see the benefit and i see you having opportunities come to you maybe you have an, a, an, a thought for a project and now you're finally getting back on track moving into something that's going to have you um bring into that material world the uh, the actual realization of that project and actually uh, being able to see some kind of uh, remuneration, some kind of money from that. Now we have the Empress, the Queen of Abundance, you know, and this is about um, this beautiful, I love this card, you know, because the, 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 the Empress is about that abundant life, you know, it's about maybe you're renovating or extending the home or moving into a new home, making it the dream home. Relationships to yourself are more harmonious. Relationships that are in your inner circle, happy, harmonious. Um, this is about financial security. So definitely with the Empress here next to the nine of coin, really good signs for you. Reasons to celebrate. You have reasons to celebrate. And once you appreciate what those are, that's when the doors will open to the bigger and the better. Remember, it's all about, especially when you're dealing with energy and attraction, it's all about the vibration that you are pushing out. No, 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 no. That's allowing, you know, that's, that's like, um, you know, the, um, the sonar on a, on a dolphin and it bounces back towards you. If you're going to bounce out 90% worry, then you're only going to get back worry. So let's try to eliminate those negative Nancy energies and let's see what we can do as you're moving forward in this first half of October. I see these, these beautiful cards represent what I believe is towards that last half of that first um, 
the, the so like around the 10th to the 15th, where the light bulb will go off and you'll start moving forward again on a project that you've been working on, something that will bring you money in future. Okay, guys, that's all I've got. Go forth and prosper and uh, have a great beginning of uh, October. We'll see you soon.